Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and this tutorial is about the second stage of setting up a head for animating using motion tracking data. And what we're looking at here is the use of animating the camera to greatly simplify the process of animating the head. With the head on the left, the camera is not moving correctly. The animated head is rotating in the opposite direction from the original motion track. The head on the right, the camera is moving correctly. And here I've got the final result next to the original motion tracking. The heads are both rotating in the same direction. And if you like my tutorials, please take the time to have a look at my animation work at solimation.com. Just imagine this is the original head of your actor that you're going to motion capture. This is their face and they're moving around and this is one of the motion capture markers moving around on the 3D head. Now just imagine that in After Effects now this is the camera. Instead of moving all the different layers that represent the head, instead we're just going to move the camera around those layers and that's going to create parallaxing and that's going to start to make the head pop and the animated head can turn to look, look around. But the simplest way to do this is to just turn the virtual camera in After Effects. Leave all the layers for the head alone and just move the camera. In the original motion capture, when that green marker is moving around, you cannot just take the tracked information from that and apply it to the camera, because then basically the camera in effect, it's almost as if the camera is following that green dot. It's as if the camera is moving in the opposite direction of that dot. And that's why you see the dot in the original motion capture. That's why you see the dot moving around because the camera in relation to the head is for, for the visual effect, it's moving in the opposite direction. In my final animation, I can, I can leave the head still, but then just have the camera move in the opposite direction that the closest part of the head, in this case, the nose, move. I've taken care of all the motion tracking on the sneer, mouth, eyes, eyebrows. But if you look, the rest of the head isn't moving. And if you look over here, selected all the layers and clicked under the 3D box here to make everything 3D. I've arranged them and the parts of the head that are closer to the viewer, I've brought further, I've brought closer and even like the ear layer you can you can see that I've even angled it so that the back part of the ear is a little bit closer to the viewer than the front part of the ear. If you leave all of these layers still and move the camera then it's very easy to go and make changes by moving these these layers back and forth in 3D space to, to make them look as good as they can. What we want to do is we want to new create a new camera and hit OK. So you click on the you right click on the camera, go up to transform and go down to auto orient and choose orient towards point of interest and click OK. And then if you go down in to the transform options, now you have a new transform option which is point of interest which is basically where the camera is looking. Next what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a new null object and then hit control D twice to have three of them. And the first one you want to name point of interest. The second one you want to name adjuster and the third one you want to name camera. I'm going to the tracking information that I used from my initial motion tracking and I'll go and get that tracking information and copy it and go back to the camera, hit P for position and paste it 
and make sure that the current time indicator is at the beginning. Now you'll notice that the null object is way back here and, and make sure that these null objects are 3D. Move the camera null object to be basically where you want the camera to start out, back here. Copy the current location of the null object I just moved. Paste it to the adjuster null object so that it is in exactly the same place as the camera null object. I'm going to go back to the point of interest null object and hit position. Now that's where I want the camera to look and I've noticed that it works really well to have the camera looking behind all the layers. Kind of have the camera looking for the most part into the center of the head and that is by far not not a hard rule. You know, it's important to be able to go in and tweak all these different parameters and and just have fun with it. Try to make the head pop as much as you can. I'm going to go back to the camera, not the null object camera. Do alt click onto the point of interest, pick whip position of point of interest. So basically now the camera is looking at that null object, the point of interest and I can move it around and the camera will look wherever I move it and it'll anchor it there so that the camera will always look at that. I want to go down to the camera position. I'll click on position and have it follow the position of the null object named camera. If you go to beginning of, if you go to the very beginning and then click on position of that null object you can go ahead and move that entire path to adjust it to, to make sure it lines up more or less. But the camera is moving in the opposite direction that you want it to move in. Because you can't transform motion paths, there is a way around that. And that's what the adjuster null object is for. What we're going to do is we're going to transform that motion path of the camera null object by parenting. First we're going to parent the camera null object to the adjuster null object. Now as soon as you do that it's going to look like everything went to hell. Because if you noticed here when you parent the camera null object to the, the adjuster null object it changes the position of the camera null object to zero, zero, zero. Don't worry about it, this is just temporary. Open up scale on the adjuster null object and type in minus 100 and basically that will flip it horizontally and vertically. When you flip the null, the adjuster null object horizontal, horizontally and vertically, you also flip the position path of the camera null object horizontally and vertically. Now after we have done that we can go back and unparent the camera null object from the adjuster null object. It will look like everything is, is back to normal again with the difference that now the camera is moving in the opposite direction from what it was moving before. I leave the adjuster up here because if I want to go in and make the camera go make the camera swing back and forth more, I can always reparent it to the adjuster and then whatever changes I make to the scale of the adjuster are the changes I make to the motion path and then I'll unparent again, see how it looks and go back you can go back and forth as many times as you want. Test render it and see how it looks and I think it works pretty good. It's really great to go into all these layers and you can move them back back and and closer and just try changing and 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 um, you'll be surprised with the the really cool effects you can get. Hope that was helpful. Please encourage me to make more tutorials by visiting solomation.com to see the animated episodes I'm posting there for free and hit the like button and leave comments and help me 
make my subscriber goal. And I hope your animation goes well. Have a good day.